guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm so happy you're here. I have got a Let's Cook a Lean and Green. If this is your first time joining me, my name's Melissa. I'm an independent coach for Octavia, and we do Lean and Greens here. This one, y'all, I've had this. One of my clients uh, gave me this recipe. It's called, I think it's called um, Crock Pot Crack Chicken. <laughs> and I can see why. I've had it before. It, oh yeah. It could become quite addicting because it's really, really yummy. Y'all, it is so easy, easy, easy to cook. You put it in your crock pot, three ingredients, turn it on, forget about it. Eight hours later, yummy dinner. All right, let's go over here and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, all you're going to need is three ingredients. Chicken, two pounds, reduced fat, cream cheese, and ranch seasoning. This is the brand I use. You can use like just the Hidden Valley Ranch, you know, the seasoning that you buy in the jar, or even if you have a packet, um, because you're only gonna need three and a half teaspoons. All right, so this is how we do it. All right, you don't need to spray it or anything like that. All you're gonna do is put your chicken right down in the bottom. And these, um, this chicken, the package said 1.95, so it's almost exactly um, two pounds. Now, I told you it was just three ingredients. There's another one, turkey bacon. Um, I don't ever use it, and I think the reason that they suggest it, because this makes five servings, but when this chicken cooks down, you probably are a little short on your protein. So they suggest cooking turkey bacon and crumbling at the very end, putting it on top. All right, now, the next thing we need is four ounces of reduced fat cream cheese. I'm gonna use my little handy dandy scale and scoop out four ounces. <clears throat> so the cream cheese, wow. I keep thinking I'm there. The cream cheese and the ranch seasoning count as condiments. So each serving, like I said, it's five servings. And so each serving is one leaner and three condiments. All right, that's a little too much. Okay, we are close enough. All right, it's 4.06. It's supposed to be four ounces, but... I could probably make myself crazy trying to get that exactly at four. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is just put it on top of the chicken and just kind of spread it around. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be exact because it's gonna all cook down. <clears throat> and then once it's done, you're gonna shred the chicken and kind of stir it around and the, the cream cheese plus the little bit of fat that renders off of the chicken mixed with the seasoning makes a nice um, creamy sauce, okay? So we're just gonna plop that in there and I'm gonna just spread it around a little bit. And like I said, it does not have to be pretty and it does not have to be perfect. You're just gonna spread it on the top of the chicken. Y'all, this is one of those so easy meals and you can do a lot with it. Like the first time I made it, I've only made it once. The first time I made it, I put it over um, cauliflower rice because uh, this is there's no greens here, so I did two servings of cauliflower rice and put it over it, and there's no healthy fat in this. So I used my Rayos Alfredo from a healthy fat, put that on top, and then I made just some green beans, and I had one green vegetable of green beans. It was perfect. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. Okay. Another suggestion would be a nice big salad. You could do lettuce wraps with this, you know, like you could shred it up and put it in lettuce wraps like romaine lettuce. I think that would actually be really good. All right, so now three and a half teaspoons of my ranch. And you just sprinkle it around. All right, there's one, two, Three and half. All right. You can cook it on high for four hours or low six to eight. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cook it low six to eight hours. Y'all answer me this. 
Is this for carrying or is this for cooking? I've heard both. Am I supposed to clamp that down when I cook or only when I'm carrying it, like taking it somewhere? I'm gonna leave it undone because I usually clamp it. So I'm gonna leave it undone and see if that matters. Am I plugged in? Yeah, I'm plugged in. All right, let's turn it on. Whoops, low. And just let that thing go. Okay, so that's gonna do its magic and I will meet you back here when it's done. We'll shred it up and figure out what else I'm gonna cook to complete the lean and green. And you'll get to see Scott. I know y'all are missing Scott. So he'll be here tonight too. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, just six short hours, maybe close to eight short hours <laughs> later, we're back at the crock pot. Now I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't look pretty, but it tastes delicious. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna shred it up. Hold on. Okay. Um, make sure, I think you can see in there pretty good. Can you see it? Hang on. I think you can. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, it doesn't look real pretty, but you see all that juice? So I'm just gonna shred this chicken. You see how it's just, I mean, it's like literally, it's just so, you see that? Look how tender it is. So I'm gonna shred this chicken all up and it makes like a gravy, you know, like almost, not really a broth once you mix it up it gets a little bit thicker and I'm gonna put that over cauliflower rice and I'm gonna pop some green beans in my air fryer I bought a new air fryer I'm gonna show you that too all right so let me work on this get it all shredded up and then we're gonna put it over the cauliflower rice like chicken and rice all right here we go okay so so much has happened <laughs> So I'm multitasking and you know, I don't know what I'm thinking filming this on a Monday. Mondays are my busiest nights for client support, but I wanted this for dinner and I wanted to share it with y'all. So Monday night it is. All right, so this is what I've done. I've got the cauliflower rice cooking in the microwave. It's just one of those steamable bags. Ivy, bad girl. And then I've got my green beans and my new air fryer, which I'm gonna show you. She's so bad, get down. And I'm gonna show you the chicken. I have shredded it. Not only have I shredded it, I mixed it all up. I poured it out of the crock pot and put it into a bowl to measure it because it makes five servings. So each serving is five and a half ounces. I put it back in the crock pot so it can stay warm. But let me show you. Okay. So here is the chicken. Once it's all shredded up, it's very, very moist. It's seasoned so amazingly well because of the cream cheese in the, you know, ranch. And so each serving, hang on. All right, because it's chicken, I need a healthy fat. So I'm using Rayo's, two tablespoons. I'm gonna heat some of that up. That'll help um, keep the chicken moist. I'm gonna put the chicken over two servings of cauliflower rice and then pour the Rayo's on top of it. And then one serving of green beans that I'm cooking in the air fryer. And that will complete our lean and green. So, I'll be back as soon as everything's ready. I'll plate it up and y'all get to see Scott, who I know you haven't seen him forever. But right now, I gotta go make some calls. Okay, y'all know I always use my big, huge air fryer. It's too big to sit on my counter. You know, it's got two or three trays in it. So I store it in my pantry. It's too big to fit on a shelf, so it's actually on the floor. So every time I need to use it, I have to lug it out from on the floor and get it. It's a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. Microwave's going off. Um, I realized each serving's five and a half, chicken is six, so that is why they suggest the bacon. So I did cook up some turkey bacon to account, and I'm just gonna, I know two slices of turkey bacon counts as one ounce of protein, so I think we're only short about a half an ounce. So we're gonna have one. We're just gonna have one slice of turkey bacon crumbled on the top. That should, that should complete our protein. But I wanted to show you my cute little air fryer. It's blinking. Look how cute it is, y'all. I love the little uh, gold handle. Isn't it cute? But there's our green beans we're about to have. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. We're gonna stop. Oh, cool, stop. Oh, I, I haven't quite learned how to use it. There we go. Okay, all right, got that unplugged. All right, so now I'm gonna go plate us up. Everything is ready. Okay, we are ready to plate up. I had to do some math because we're having one and a half servings of cauliflower rice, one and a half servings of green beans, and I hope I have enough green beans. Look at these beautiful green beans, y'all, in the air fryer. Oh my gosh, they look so good. All right, 
So one and a half servings of cauliflower rice cooked from frozen is 4.75 ounces. So let's scoop that out on our plate. Now we need, I'm gonna zero that out, we need five and a half ounces of our chicken. I think these would be so, this chicken would be so good on a lettuce wrap. I mean, I really do. I'm gonna try that because this makes five servings, so we're gonna have leftover. I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. All right. Very close. It's a huge portion. All right, there we go, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the Reos Alfredo, which will be our healthy fat. And this just makes it even a little bit creamier. So good, you guys. I know your mouth is watering, right? Your mouth is watering. All right, then we're gonna crumble up one very crisp turkey bacon to round out our protein. Just put it right on top. I'm just gonna, let's just be messy. Let's just be messy. There we go. Now we need some green beans. I'm afraid I'm not gonna have enough. There's one. Now I'm gonna play up the second one and then we'll meet you at the bar. All right. There he is, the man of the hour. I know y'all been waiting <laughs> to see him. It's been a while since I've seen him. It has, just been a minute. It okay, has, so I know they've been who? dying to see you. Okay, so you ready to dig in? Oh, you better believe so, it. So everything is complete except we are short a little bit of vegetables because I underestimated the green beans. I didn't cook enough green beans. Um, and I had enough cauliflower I could have added to it, but it's enough, you know? <laughs> so I may have some tomatoes and cucumbers Pretty later plates. or something. It's beautiful. All right, I, we've had this chicken before, mm -hmm. and it is so delicious, y'all. The recipe's so easy. You just stick it in the crock pot and don't even think about it the rest of the day. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Top notch. It's so good, y'all. <laughs> and I love green beans cooked like this. <laughs> Finger licking good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. I will link the recipe. Well, I'm not gonna link it, I'll just type it out. I don't even have a link, because um, it's so simple. I'll just type it out and put it in my description. All right, you guys, we're gonna go enjoy this. That's right. And then I gotta get on and make the rest of my calls. I told them I don't know why I plan on doing this on a Monday night. That was dumb. Busy yeah, night, we're busy night. Okay, you guys, to say hi oh, to I know you did. Now, uh, this Friday's the day for the little, tiny little surgery I'm having, so, all prayers are welcome. That's right. That's, <laughs> need those always. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, until we get back together again, you guys, stay safe, stay well, and have a blessed day, and we're out. We're out. Bye, y'all.